the pain, the bruises, the sacrifices, the ups and downs. This is the path that I chose. This fight game isn't for everybody. I had my first fight 16 years ago. A little 10 year old and here I am still working very hard. My last fight was my 150th fight. Yeah, since having kids has been added motivation. I've got the hardest corner to beat in the world, I believe. I've got my dad on one shoulder and my two kids on the other. These two fighters. I don't, at times you don't realise how switch on your kids are. And when I come home, my little girl's like, Daddy, you lost. Walking out to the ring, I I try not to look at Charlotte, and I looked at Charlotte as I was walking the ring, and like, I seen her, I'm like, fuck, I wish I'd never seen that because I was so like emotional, and I don't know what the outcome is going to be in the next moments of this life that you guys are watching, but I hope it is a win. Put it down. I think me losing that fight was a big step forward in my career because I, I showed myself what I'm made of, and that's probably the truth of it. They were with me for eight months prior to it when I was hiding at home and I was in on stress and, and it was eight months of just misery and hell on my end. Just didn't want to really show my face to the, my friends, family, the public. So I stayed home and I just, I was, I was in a mess. I was in a mess but like I said, I, I knew my task at hand and I accepted the rematch pretty well straightforward after the first fight. I just had a bit of time for myself and then I was on the grind. I was working towards it and Fuck, it was a, it was a big camp. Ooh. I don't want to do that again. Come on. You ready for school? That's the worst thing in boxing, is the defeat. If that's all the worst thing is, well, I've already overcome that. So I've already done that. Cool. Okay, pretty sure you don't do it. Home sweet home. This is uh, Dad's second home. Camp is boring because we're sticking to it so precisely that it made it that boring. <laughs> Benny wouldn't even let me throw certain punches. I wasn't allowed to throw right hands with the body. I stuck to three or four punches and one game plan. A few warning shots. I did it so well throughout camp and eight months prior to it that on fun it uh, unfolded so well. And it did to a point where whatever he was trying in the fight, I was laughing in my head, don't try that. But we are one step ahead of you and I felt like I was one step ahead of him the whole way through. Just a little bit before that, I threw a right hand and he did like a mimic of him getting wobbled and that was just a sign to me that it upset him. And I threw another right hand and then I threw another one and I thought, okay, I've found my range with the right hand. This bad boy is always waiting for something. Yeah, I, I didn't care. I, I just wanted to hurt the bike. Like, honestly, like, it was just good to get that thing over and done with. Yeah, yeah everything, everything I do is for them. All the sacrifices I'm making, all the hardship that I'm putting my body through is all for them.